What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Disney Plus new series, Loki. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Disney Plus for granting me the screeners to the first two episodes of this new show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. I had my doubts at first about a show built around this character. It's not that I don't like Loki, it's just that they keep resurrecting Loki and they keep wanting us to see, oh, maybe he'll turn good this time. And in a way, this series is that same song and dance all over again. The question of whether or not you can appeal to the compassion of somebody who only ever thinks of himself. But you know what? The writers found a way to make it irresistibly fun, albeit using time travel, time manipulation, time aberration, the most played out science fiction ever, but they put their own spin on it. And it's all done in this sort of wacky, imaginative, energy-driven approach that keeps you on your toes, even as the story often hits the brakes for some psychological analysis. But the biggest draw, of course, is Tom Hiddleston as Loki. Oh my mischief god! If there is ever a perfect fusion between actor and role, Tom makes us deciding to follow Loki's journey feel like a no-brainer. Written by Michael Waldron and directed by Kate Herron, Marvel Studios' Loki series features the god of mischief as he steps out of his brother's shadow in a Disney Plus series that takes place after the events of Avengers Endgame, starring Tom Hiddleston, Owen Wilson, Gugu Mbatha-Ra, Sofia Di Martino, Wunmi Mosaku, and Richard E. Grant. If WandaVision was about grief and trauma and loss, and if The Falcon and the Winter Soldier was about legacy and politics, I feel that Loki is about personal growth or lack thereof. It may be too early to judge it just from these first two episodes, but there doesn't seem to be much emphasis on big picture or deeper themes other than an investigation caper and buddy dramedy. Perhaps after slapping you in the face with two existential profound shows, Marvel Studios figures, hey, let's dial down and just have some light-hearted crime adventures with Loki. I can't say enough to praise Tom Hiddleston, his enunciation and his devious smiles. And there's something very Shakespearean about Tom's performance as Loki. And here on this show, he gets to unlock all of those facets even more. And the comedy is not about tickling your funny bone. It's more about dismantling or emasculating Loki. And with the acknowledgement that everything that he's ever pursued no longer matters. And you can tell that it somewhat hurts his pride, but man, he quickly lets it roll off his shoulder and his fast mouth keeps bouncing back. And I don't think that this character would come alive if it wasn't played by Tom Hiddleston. Owen Wilson is a great addition to the MCU. In episode 1, his character Mobius comes off looking like a shrink. And in episode 2, he's just plain naive. I think he really believes that there is a shot at redemption for Loki. Owen with his silver fox hair brings gravitas and charm. The dynamics between Mobius and Loki is very intriguing. And I can't wait to see what that will evolve into. There's always an overseeing agency, right? Whether it be S.H.I.E.L.D. or S.W.O.R.D. in WandaVision, or the US government, or in this case, TVA or Time Keepers. So in that sense, the world building on this show, albeit inventive, it also stays within the same MCU formula. But the mystery definitely captures my curiosity. And I suspect that in the process of solving it, Loki will eventually discover if he's the superior god or the inferior god or a god who for once in his life does something for somebody else other than himself. 
get ready to stay up late at night every week again because Loki is your latest addiction.